Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our abstract thesis series where we are digging deep into the concept to learn how things work in Power BI. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the new videos. So in this video for this series, what we are going to do is we first of all we load a data and see what data is that and then we will see what happens if we change the connection how do system react to it and how can we correct it so first of all let's load an excel file so we go here and we load this says data config.excel file here and uh, once we load it it is going to tell us what all sheets it has so we have a customer data uh, we have basically a sales data where we have this sales data where we have customer id ct id and all those and then we have item uh, which is joined again with sales geography and customers and customer do have a, um, a city ID where we actually we don't want to join with geography we want directly geography to join with sales uh, so that connection handling we will do here so let's load this data so you are seeing that uh, connection has been established model has been, and now it is detecting the relationship and based on the common column names uh, once we go to the relationship see we can see this relationship now we don't need this relationship because uh, this is between the two dimensions actually we already have a city id in the fact and that's what we wanted to continue we wanted to it into be a star schema model uh, so we click here and you can see that this relationship is there i will right click here and i'll say delete so this will get deleted and now i can double click on this one this inactive relationship and i can make it active so when I, so now I can go ahead and now what I will do is I'll go to the folder and I'll rename this file and I'll call it so now if I go back to my power bi and if I refresh it it start giving me error so now I no more I am able to get the file so what I option I have so either from here we are from the recent sources you can look the sources or under the transform data you have option data source setting or under file options and setting you have data source setting you can click here now once you click here you reach this data source setting so you can uh, go and say change source and change source i can browse and i can select the new source and i say open this is also true when you moved uh, it from one system to another system so how do we change it or how would we move from production database uh, to a test database or test database to a production database and then it's asked for apply changes so we say apply changes and this is done again we got all the information here everything is same just smoothly able to change it now what is the other option so what i can do is i can click on one of the tables and let's rename it once more okay so let's do it once more let's rename it once more and we'll call it again let's say okay now here we go and now we right click on the table and say refresh data now it's again erroring out because it's not available and in the table also it shows option uh, we can say edit query or we can here transform data both one of the place we can go so we clicked edit query we would have reached the same place now here each table you can have one if you look at here there is a source available out here okay i can go ahead and say it as one okay i say it's one again i go source here and i say one but we, we have to change it at every place that's the loss which we are having here i'm going to do i'm going to change it everywhere and then let's go ahead and and say close and apply let's see does it pick it up okay and you see all the places it has picked it up so but yes so if you have some one place or you have to actually change only for one table so at transform data you can go and in the transform data you can go to the sources and then find out the source location and there you can change it so but you, you are writing down or writing down there manually there's one more way actually uh, we go again back here transform data we right click here and say advanced editor and in the advanced editor we again got it so you clicked on the source and then looked at the source there and there you do it here again you can 
you have the entire script all the steps are at one place here again you can change it here so these are various options where you can do it i'm cancelling right now i am even say i don't want to i simply want to close i don't have any changes to apply there but if you have a connection that is changing where to change it both both two three options which are having we are discussed there are only two ways but there are variation to both the places so uh, we have discussed those try these things out uh, try this out now let's take one more question what happens if we add or remove a column but that is the question for our next video what other videos you want us to cover in this series suggest in comments keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you